okay, for real. This is this is how you do the black and white method. It's very simple. It makes everything look a lot nicer. There's no leftover green pixels or anything. You just launch SFM. Uh, Mr. Light showed me this some time ago, and ever since then I've been showing it to people because you do get you do get better results from it. Oh, is it gonna crash? Place your bets, folks. We're gonna want to do any sequence. Let's do open fart. So we open up open fart. Not only with this does it avoid um, green pixels entirely. There, there's no green at all. So if you have a green item in the foreground, it is not affected by the background at all. Because as you can see, it's completely shadowed in. It's completely black regardless. The person who told me about this said like, hey, it might be easier for you to use green screen, but trust me, the black and white method, it, it gets a lot better results and it looks much cleaner and there's no residual, there's no residual slime green on your character and the cuts look a lot more even. I always use this method now because it looks way better. So you have your character lit, have it lit how you like, you're good with it. So what you do is you wanna export you want to export your fir the, the first one. We're going to call it My Black Background 1. And then it will render it, whatever set it render settings you have. Okay, so now that that's finished, we can go ahead and unload the black void map and load that white void map that we saw from the beginning. I will put the link to that in the description below. Now what do we do? What you do is very simple. You just cut the lights. Amazing, right? You just turn them off. You just turn them off. And then, then you go export poster, save, uh, we're going to call this my white BG1. And when that finishes, I will meet you in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. There's a number of great uh, art programs or digital art programs that you can download and use, and they will work just as fine. You just need something with a selection tool, a magic wand tool. Here in Photoshop, if we do the magic wand tool on the green, um, you can select it all. And it might get a little sloppy. Sometimes it does. Oh, yeah, like you can see this residual green here. You see this residual green? Like, you can spend individual time going through and making sure you got it. Like, especially in these tiny crevices. It is not It is not nice to you. And you can just, you get, like, mixed results. You get really mixed results with it. So instead, what we can do is we can take our two layers here, grab the white one, bring it into our image with the black background, if we go into our layer with the white background, if we select the white and then do similar, or you can go through and select all the individual areas, I'm not gonna do that, that takes too much time. I'm simply just going to select a white area, do select similar, and your selection stays there, it stays there, but then you can go in the other layer and now it's gone and there's no residual of any kind. It is a very clean cut, so, you can import a background of some si of some kind. This is just something from my wallpapers folder. And as you can see, there's nothing there. We can go ahead and change the color. And no matter what, it's very clean. Super clean, super duper clean. I hope that with this tutorial, you will have changed your mind and switched to this method. Obviously, I don't care if you stick to the green screen method. This is just something that I found to be very helpful and a bunch of other people have. I show this to a lot of people, especially new artists or maybe artists in the Critzcast Discord that maybe want to superimpose something in their poster that they're making. And this is my go-to method that I think works every time. Thank you for watching.